In the last video, we discussed about the food habits of animals. Now, we'll discuss about their techniques to catch prey. Hope you all know this creature. It's really amazing and beautiful to see how the spider catches the prey and the way it spins web around it. In a flash of time, the spider spins or wraps the web around the fly or bee. Do you know this magician? Do you know why did I call him a magician? Because he can change his color. We can see colored catching prey using its long tongue. Calots usually live in trees. They are remarkable for their color change. Their diet is made up of insects such as crickets, grasshoppers and ants. Now let's read what the woodpecker is saying. I pick on the tree with my strong beak. Splitting open the dry bark of the tree, I feed on insects beneath it. I have clothes that help me fix myself on the tree. Have you seen the antland catching prey? He digs pits in dry soil of areas that do not get direct sunlight or rain. We have already discussed in the first video about antland. You may have seen its pits in the veranda and yard of your house. These skillful ones hide in the soil pits with only their horns jutting out. Small creatures that fall into the pit can never climb out of it. This is because of the peculiarity of the pit. Now look at this bird. He doesn't need any introduction. You all know him very well. Anyway, let's read what he is saying. I have a flat beak. Using this, I can search for food in water and mud. My legs help me swim in water and stand firmly in mud without sinking into it. Have you seen the hen searching for food? You may have seen it scratching the ground with its feet and pecking at food with its beak. Observe the way in which birds around you catch prey. Find out how the beaks and feet help them catch prey and record it in the environment diary. In the last class, we learned that lion is a carnivorous animal. That means they eat only animal food. They have sharp nails and teeth. They help him catch prey and tear it. We all love cats, don't we? Haven't you noticed his sharp teeth? He tears mice using his teeth. Now observe how the lizard in our house catches prey and not down in the environment area. Okay, thank you.